How you doing guys? This is MMPR Fan 94 back again with another wee Power Rangers review for you. As you can see today, I'm going to be doing a redo of my Power Rangers uh, Ninja Megazord. Now, about six, seven years ago, I did a review on the Ninja Megazord, but I wasn't too happy with it because it was incomplete. But now, as you can see, uh, the Ninja Megazord is now 100% complete. And if you just bear with me, I will try and go through each individual sword and do a nice review for you. Now, if you could hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified of any videos I upload. Alright, thanks. So, let's get this started. Then. Right. Now, this is a nice wee mega sword. Now, it's not my favourite. But I think my only issue with it is it's too easy to transform. Like, if you look at the Thunder Mega Sword. It's really, really, really difficult to transform. Like, I mean, you need to do stuff like you need to do stuff like um, twisting it and break, breaking bits off and opening clips and stuff. But the Ninja Mega Sword is really easy. Now, I'll take the Falcon Sword away for a wee while because I don't really include this, could include this guy with the Ninja Mega Sword because I look at him as the uh, secondary Mega Sword, like the Dragon Sword and the Tiger Sword. So I'll just put him away a minute, I'll bring him back later. So you have the Ape Sword, the Frog Sword, the Wolf Sword, the Bear Sword and the Crane Sword. Now it originates from the Super Sentai season uh, uh, Kaki Ranger, which is what the third season of Power Rangers is based from. The first being Zoo Ranger and the second being Die Ranger. So I will start with the Ape Sword, which is this buddy here. I'll just put these back here a minute. Now, season two, season three started with Rito Volto um, appeared and destroyed the Thunder Zords. And on doing so, they lost their powers. So Zordon sent them on a quest to find Ninjor. And when they found Ninjor, he gave them new coins and gave them new Zords. And this is what they were. So the Ape Sword is a nice wee buddy. He looks more human than the Ape. But, you know, his arms can, his arms can rotate. And he has a weapon, which is these two things here. And they just go in here like that. See, my last review didn't have the weapons. So there you are. And he just sits like there and he fights with them. Now, you can put them together. There's two ways that's here and you put them in. Now, he can hold these, but it doesn't look very good, so I'm not going to do it. So we we'll just put these back. Whenever he's standing normally, you can just, there's two wee pegs here. And you just... Put them in like that. Then just stands there. So that's him. Now I think my favourite sword out of the ninja swords is the frog sword. It's the frog sword. Because it's really big, it looks like a proper frog, and there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, movement to it and playability. Now, when I first got the Ninja Mega Sword, I actually, I actually got the Frog Sword wrong. I didn't realise that it could go like this. So, I thought, I thought, I thought it used to go like this, which obviously you know was wrong. But then I discovered one day I was playing about with it, and I went, I went, Oh, right, okay. And then I realised that's how you do it, so it's done like that for a while. So then you've got the wolf, which is a nice wee sword, too. Really, I actually love the detail on this guy. So I do really love the detail on this guy. You know, the legs move really well. And then there, and the mouth opens up, choppy choppy. Then you've got the bear, which is pretty similar. Legs move. Mouth opens. And then you have the queen, which is a simple wee sword. Basically a fan sword, something similar to the, the, uh, the firebird and the pterodactyl. You just fly about. I mean, I like the fan swords because you can do a lot of things with it, pretend you're flying about with it. So it's pretty good. And then you have the falcon sword. But I'll do him after I put the... I'll do him after I put the, um, the mega sword together. So to put the mega sword together, you get the you get the frog sword, and you get the legs, and you spread them out as long as you can, like that. And 
like that and then there's a wee bit here you just break it off and you put the arms in push that down and there you have the legs for the Megazord then you take the oh I actually discovered whenever the Ninja Zords are in um, the Zord mode I actually discovered that the covers for the ape and the wolf sword when they're in Megazord mode actually go under the bear the fist goes below and the ape goes at the or the wolf goes at the back I never knew that before and then some guy I seen some guy on Facebook and he told me about it and I discovered to do it so so the ape fist goes there and the wolf fist goes there so you just take them off put them over here now to transform the bear into Megazord mode you squeeze the legs together you put them in you take out the mouthpiece, this be silver bit here, you take it out, you open the mouth and you put it back into that slot and then put that up. Now be very careful with this here because this can be lost very, very easily. Then you just flip the legs up and push that up. Be careful, make sure that the legs are completely in and you just go, and that's that. There are two wee pegs here and two wee clips here and they just go together. That, and there you have the body and the legs for the Megazord. Then you take the Ape Zord, take his weapons off, cut his back out, push push the arms in, they go on the gat, and then you just go. Now he's ready for his wound. You take his cover, put it on, and then the bear will have two clips here. And you just put that in there like that. Then you take the wolf sword. You put the tail in, put these legs in, put them in, take the cover, and, and it goes here. As you can see, it's a very, very easy transformation. It's a very easy Megazord to transform. That's my issue with it, it's too easy. Then you take the crane sword, and you just, you flip the wings in, and you take the head, and that reveals the face of the Megazord. And there's a wee clip on the bear. And you put that in there like that. And now you have the Ninja Megazord. Now I just put the Ninja Megazord aside and I'll do the Falcon Sword. Now I always do the Falcon Sword separately because I class it as, as a, a secondary sword. Even though even though it came with the Ninja Megazord on Ninja Quest. But I always look at it as a separate Megazord, as a Tiger Sword and a Dragon Sword. And because it's Tommy's Sword, he's a secondary ranger. So the Falcon Sword has its own attack mode, so um, it would put the head down and you could fold the wings forward and put the feet up and it would fire 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 bolts like that. Like that there. Now I will note that the Japanese Falcon Sword is a lot better because it had it had lights and I had lights and sounds. You would hit a button and these would light up. So they would. But for some reason for the American toy they they took out the electronics, which is kind of which kind of which is kind of crap. So to get the Falcon Sword back to where you need to go, just do that. Put the head forward, and then becomes flying again. So and the mouth moves as well, which is pretty good. Now to put the Falcon Sword in in with the Ninja Mega Sword. Now the reason I keep them separate as well because really the Ninja Megazord just fought battles on its own and then whenever it needed to fly or do its special move the Falcon Sword would come out and join onto it. Now to put the Falcon Sword onto the back of the Ninja Megazord, you put the feet down, you put them to the side of that, you put the mouth, you put the head up, the tail back, and there's two clips here and you just go. And there you have the Ninja Falcon Megazord. Try saying that fast, it'll sound like a wee F word that's, uh, that you shouldn't be saying. So, so and then the main, the main attack for the Ninja Megazord is it didn't have a saber. It just used its fists and it had a, it had a kick and move too, but of course I can't show that because whenever the legs of the Ninja Megazord get transformed, it's a complete brick. So, Basically, I would punch with the ape and the wolf. When it was show like the ape, the ape on TV and it would show the wolf as it was punching. And then for its mega mega attack, it, the falcon sword would come and attach. Then it would fly, then it would come down and the fist would go like out there and then it would go like out there. And then it would go through and it would destroy every monster it faced. So, 
that is my Ninja Mega Sword redo review. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't really get I don't really get to do these a lot too often because uh, I'm really busy with uh, other other projects and stuff. But I'll try and get a lot more Mega Swords done and uh, a lot more weapons and stuff. I mean, but you do the money restraints. I can't really buy a lot of stuff at the minute, so. But at least I can do redos of all the stuff I have and I've still quite a few more material I can do reviews on so I'll just do a wee close up of that there. It's, it really is a nice Megazord but my problem is it's too easy. The Thunder Megazord and the Dino Megazord are a lot higher in my estimation so. So I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys again alright.